Did you know that President Teddy Roosevelt actually looked to ancient Greece when he wanted to beautify American coins? He commissioned sculptor Augustus St. Gaudens, who created the now infamous double eagle coin. I'm Chuck Woldery. Welcome to In Conversation. This week, former directors of the United States Mint, Philip Deal and Ed Moy, discussed their favorite coin designs during their time in office. So, Ed, one of my favorite designs over the last many decades is uh, and was the double eagle. Mm -hmm. And you resurrected the double eagle in 2009 mm -hmm. uh, and produced this beautiful coin. Yeah. That's one of my one favorites. Of my, yeah, it's one of my favorites too. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, that's high praise uh, mm -hmm. coming from you. And as a, as a fellow Mint director, um, uh, you know, I just beam with pride over, mm -hmm. over what we did there. Uh, so one of the things that uh, I valued most uh, when I became mint director was um, the idea that coins can act as an ambassador for a country's values, yes, yes. right? And uh, in my opinion, uh, when Teddy Roosevelt collaborated with Augustus St. Gaudens to redesign American coinage to more reflect our American values versus our European values mm -hmm. uh, on all the coins that were made prior to 1900, mm -hmm. um, uh, many of our most iconic coins uh, came uh, from that period, from the Lincoln Penny to the uh, Walking Liberty 50 mm -hmm. cent piece, uh, the so-called Mercury Dime, and the, uh, the, the Eagle and the Double Eagle. And of that Double Eagle, what was really special about that and why I decided to do it right. So just like you, um, in order to lift the Mint's morale and to show the world what it could do mm -hmm. with our new technological prowess, we decided to then tackle what was uh, mutually agreed upon by most people as the most beautiful coin that was ever made in the history of the world. Mm -hmm which was the St. Gaudens $20 uh, gold piece, or what's known as the uh, double eagle. And it was a collaboration between uh, St. Gaudens and uh, Teddy Roosevelt, uh, who basically said, uh, can you redesign it to reflect American values? And so uh, he decided to do a full figure of the, um, uh, of the allegory of liberty, mm -hmm. uh, which when you look at all European coins, they're all side profiles, mm -hmm. uh, usually of leaders, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. emphasize to the people, the leader is responsible for your economic well-being. Mm -hmm. And what uh, St. Gaudens wanted to say is the idea of freedom is responsible for your mm -hmm. economic well-being. So you put liberty, but a full figure facing, um, facing the viewer, and uh, dressed her in a Greek Roman gown that uh, symbolized our roots in Western civilization. Mm -hmm. This idea of liberty and democracy didn't come from Africa, it didn't mm -hmm. come from Asia, mm -hmm. it came from uh, Greek and Roman roots and therefore she was dressed uh, appropriately to reflect that. She's carrying a torch in the front leading and uh, olive branches in the back. And the symbolism with that was that uh, if you looked at the torch and you were a Christian, you would think that that was the lamp of God. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you weren't, uh, you would uh, think that it was enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And the olive branch meant peace. So uh, what uh, St. Gaudens was saying through this design was, where God or enlightenment leads liberty mm -hmm. and liberty follows, mm -hmm. then peace uh, and prosperity will, will come to that what country. What beautiful symbolism. Isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah. and so unknown, really, in America. And to get that story on a coin, yes. to me, is just the brilliance of yeah. being able to use art <laughs> as a storytelling yes. uh, mechanism. Yes. And what was really cool, to make it uniquely American, uh, when you look closely at the coin, uh, down below, she's marching up up a steep mm -hmm. um, uh, mountain, mm -hmm. and down below uh, is the U.S. Capitol. Mm -hmm. And so, what uh, Saint Gons was saying is, this vision of liberty had it uh, has already visited the United States, mm -hmm. and is now marching into the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, here's where the technological uh, piece comes in. Uh, uh, they created in what was called ultra high relief. 
is basically embedding a statue into the coin mm -hmm. that Liberty popped out so much that she uh, uh, was raised above the surface of the coin, mm -hmm. right? And part of the symbolism there was uh, she's marching so forcefully into the rest of the world <laughs> yes. that when you're looking at the coin, she's marching right into you, yes. right into your space. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. The problem was, in order to make that, you had to stamp the coin, given the technology at the time, eight to eleven times, yes. and you had to line it up each time by eye. Mm. So maybe one out of you know a dozen strikes yeah. would actually be good enough to be released into circulation. And then second, because of the raised uh, liberty, you couldn't stack the coins. <laughs> they would <laughs> wobble. They would wobble. Uh -huh. And so they wouldn't really be good in commerce. Yeah. And uh, further, when Roosevelt contracted with uh, Augusta St. Gaudens, he did that outside the mint. And so the mint hated it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And course. so when they were forced to make it, yeah. they actually dumbed down the coin. Yeah to make it flatter yeah. and took some of the detail out so that uh, they could mass produce it. Yes. So when I became mint director, mm -hmm. the reason why I resurrected this was uh, I wanted to re-emphasize how important art was uh, to coin making, how it could tell the story of mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. and that the mint has now come a long ways and now has the technical ability yeah. to make that coin. Mm -hmm. And so what we ended up doing was, and we displayed this at the uh, American Numismatic Association's uh, summer convention, which is the largest one, uh, we displayed uh, like seven of these coins um, from uh, uh, putting uh, 10 tons of pressure on it, mm -hmm. 20 tons, mm -hmm. all the way up to the, the tonnage that, that we did, so you could see the coin actually forming. Yes. And because we could uh, press it, uh, uh, gently and then accelerate uh, um, in order to make that. Yes. Uh, we ended up uh, being able to mass produce this. Yes. Huh. Yeah. And so it's just really, it, 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 like you, I wanted to show the world that the mint is back. Mm -hmm. uh, and we could do some great mm -hmm. things and we can produce some very beautiful coins. Visit usmoneyreserve.com for more information on precious metals, coins, and precious metal IRAs. America's Gold Authority, U.S. Money Reserve, is proud to be a leading distributor of government issue gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. For over 20 years, hundreds of thousands of clients have placed their trust in the company to help select the highest quality and most appropriate precious metals for their portfolios. So whether you're a first time buyer or looking to expand your current portfolio, U.S. Money Reserve is committed to bringing you a superior customer experience. I'm Chuck Woolery. Thank you for watching In Conversation.